Good evening, everybody. Today, I am doing our local business highlight for this week. I actually was not able to do one last week, so this week you're gonna get two of them, which is very exciting. And I'm really thrilled to be here today with Isaac's Antiques and Janelle, and she is going to tell us all about um, some of the things that are happening here. There is a lot going on, and then we're gonna give you a little tour of how the place has changed and what you can be expecting. So Janelle, <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? Hi, I'm Janelle. My husband, Scott, and I bought this building exactly in two days, two months ago. So <laughs> we've done a whirlwind of uh, trying to get to know the place and figuring out what we're going to do and what potential is here, which is enormous in our opinion. Um, I'm the creator of Jangle Soapworks, so that's been my impetus to starting a business, um, a brick and mortar, and I have sold my product next door and so this is Isaac's Soaps and Antiques has been for 25 years this building and the soap part the little room next door um I met the previous owner and she sold my product for I think about 10 years now and um my product sold really really well we had a great relationship and friendship and um just a, a lot going on over there and I had asked her to rent the store to me a couple years ago and she wasn't interested her brother owned the building with her and they just really wanted to keep Isaac was their grandfather so it was mm. a sentimental business for them and they weren't ready to change hands so um, fast forward a couple of years we're still selling a lot of soap having a great relationship and um, Tom the owner got ill and Barb, the other owner, decided to sell, and I was in the right place at the right time, and so um, we decided to buy the building. And so I'm super excited to make next door my own take on a soap store, but it's going to be a soap store plus so much more. It's going to have my product, of course, but my product will not nearly fill the space. I'm super excited. Natural's my game. I do everything super natural, no synthetic fragrances or colors, and um, I use as much organic and local product as I can. So. I'm super excited to use that same kind of screening filter to have about four other local makers of bath and body products. So it won't awesome. just be mine, it's all local, all handmade. I'm super excited to kind of share and announce who those other bath and body people will be. Um, and then, so that's one component is the natural bath and body. And then I'm also gonna have commercial natural. Mm. Um, bamboo toothbrushes, dental floss. I'm super um, about a low plastic profile yeah getting rid of the one use plastic so um you know shampoo bars salt lamps organic bathrobes that kind of stuff organic i mean natural commercial product and then my third component which i'm really excited about are local artists because we have in this greater area even in our very small blue mounds barnabel bridgeway mount horeb area we have so many artists. We do. And they are amazing. They're talented. They want to express themselves and show their work. And of course, this year, it's kind of hard, you know, because yeah. shows or big events where they normally sell. So I'm super excited to have local artists in the house. So That's awesome. those are my three components, primarily for next door. When we bought the building, there was, of course, the antique mall. Um, and we decided keep it along. We have no plan B. The vendors are wonderful. The staff came with us and um, we've had a super fun ride learning about antiques. We're not real antique collectors. So <laughs> we've had a lot of learn. We've had to learn how to, um, you know, be brick and mortar owners. I've had my own personal business, but never with employees and that kind of degree of business. So the antique store is here to stay. We're doing a few aesthetic changes, but nothing real significant. Same vendors, a few new faces, but Change happens all the time, I'm coming to understand. It's a very fluid moving of space. And um, so we're super excited about learning the antique mall and yeah. keeping that going, which has kind of hijacked more time than we <laughs> originally anticipated, right? You never, yeah. I should always know to double what whatever I your kind estimate of is. Time mm -hmm. and money, right? Mm -hmm. Double, at least double it, maybe more. So we're way behind on getting next door open. But what I'd really like to help people understand is that we, I'm calling us sister stores. So Isaac's Antiques and Jangle Natural Living are gonna be sister stores. They are sister stores. And so we're actually gonna have a flow through. So you can oh, pick great. up a bar of soap and wander over to the antique store and purchase at either counter. If there's a line, you can go to the other side. Yep. Um, it's just a nice flow through. Um, 
And so right now my product is here because we're not ready next door. As soon as we get next door open, then my product will move next door, make room for another antique vendor. I'd love to give you a super quick. Yeah, let's do that. Door. Just it's it's in uh, construction mode, but you can see what's happening over there. Get and, a feel for it. And yeah. I gotta just add that like my favorite product is actually what I had mentioned, the muscle relief. <laughs> And so I want people to know that you make way more than just soap, um, and that stuff is amazing. Yeah, I have uh, balms and foot butters and body butters and uh, facial serums, and my husband actually hand makes these soap decks Oh, cool. Lotion bars and, yeah, anything that I don't have to use. I don't make a liquid lotion because I'd have to use a chemical preservative. So I'm okay. super, super natural. Um, lip balms, lots of fun stuff. And uh, I make it all myself. Everything. That's awesome. So far. <laughs> That's awesome. No, I just I really I like that a lot. Too. My deodorant sells really, really well. It's hard to find a natural deodorant that actually works. That is so, very uh, true. Anyway. All right. Let's, let's take, take a peek. Because you had quite a neat discovery over here. Yes. So it's a mess. We are renovating, and it's going to be so awesome. I'm so excited, but. It's uh, when we were trying to fix the plaster over here, Scott cut a big enough piece to send to test for asbestos, and luckily the asbestos test was clean so we could take the plaster out, but what we found behind the plaster in doing the test was this beautiful brick wall, which this we didn't awesome. know was here. So um, we decided, Scott gave me, my husband Scott gave me the idea to take off the plaster on this focal wall. And after he got started, he said, oh my goodness, did I really <laughs> do this to myself? I wish I hadn't given you this idea. So anyway, it's done and it's awesome. And we're going to leave it just exactly like that, super found, raw. And it's, and it's I mean, this is a 100-year-old building. It's so awesome. I suppose that's a 100-year-old wall. I don't know if it was enhanced at some point between built and now, but... Um, so, soap store to be, um, it's called Jangle Natural Living, and um, because I wanted to build off my jangle already, and then natural living is just what I try to do with my life and my home and yeah. my products, and I wanted to bring it to Brick Absolutely. Order. So now everybody gets a sneak peek at what they see behind the paper. paper People keep saying, when they walk that by, still yes. there. it's been two months. I'm like, I know. Because there's so big busy. things happening. <laughs> And I believe that's called love does when your husband is willing to strip an entire wall full of brick. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and in the times of COVID, he was, um, he was furloughed for a while and we were going to use that time to work on the building. And then the week, the, exactly the week before we bought the building, he went back to 100% employment, oh. which is super awesome. We yes, the income, yes. But the time he was just like, no, we I need you to work in the store. We're doing everything ourselves. Yes. Everything. He's a doer. I'm a pain. You know, we're both very doers. We don't hire out anything. So between the work next door, trying to learn this business, we have a homeschool child trying to make product for this impetus, this <laughs> baby little soap business that's still trying to grow. We're busy, but yeah. we're having fun. We're having a lot of fun. I've Let's noticed, too, that you brought in some more local artists. Like the gnomes, I feel like we're an addition. Is that? Yes, this is a, a lady, and I believe she's in Ridgeway. I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't do the ordering for this product, but she's definitely very local. Um, she makes all these by hand, so we sell a ton of those. You know, it's really troll town, but yes. gnomes work, too. Um, so, yeah, we have a lot of... Our original vendors for the antiques. This is um, Ken. He is from JK Evergreen Ranch. He lives in Blue Mounds. He grows these Icelandic sheep and shears awesome. them. And I think he actually spins it himself too, but I'm not real sure about that. He makes these um, bags out of recycled bead bags. Oh, grain cool. bags. He sits there with a sewing machine and makes them all himself. <laughs> we have Chrissy here, right here around Horb. She does these cards with a local. I mean, an antique letterpress machine. Wow. If you go watch my Jangle Natural Living Facebook Live for last Thursday, we watched her use her machine to actually make a couple of cards. So that was super fun to take a field trip to her letterpress. Opal out of, um, I think she lives in Columbus. She makes this uh, elderberry syrup. 
super good right now with the COVID, yep. you know, boost, boost your immune system. She does a lot of organic. She makes it herself and it's super tasty. Um, that is awesome. People are running out of that stuff. Yeah, we have that in stock. And so we have the footprint of the store is 75% antiques. We also have some new jewelry that is a lot of it is remade with old pieces of jewelry, kind of repurposed jewelry. Some of it is new. We have the store models about 25% vintage and artists and repurposed or collectibles. So that's kind of, I'm truly, really trying to keep the store at about 75% true antiques. There's very few real antique stores anymore. They've all shifted to home mm -hmm. decor, um, new stuff. Antiques are getting harder to find mm -hmm. because the younger generation typically don't keep stuff like us right. older people. And they clean out grandma's closet and they throw it away. So right. don't throw it away. <laughs> right. Well, but one thing that people should know too is that it's really cool right now to mix some of the farm stuff with the antiques right. and blend it in the right. old and the new into your house. And it right. makes this, great gifts as well. This one of our vendors made this out of an old uh, John Deere, oh, the lamp. maybe an oil yeah. drum or something. And he put a lampshade on it. So it's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Repurposing the old into something new. Upcycle. Right. Exactly. So I don't know what you want to do if you want to go up and see Well, we'll just, just take a little of... walk around and yeah. I'll meet you back down here. <laughs> I love the uh, holiday decorations with the pumpkins. Some good bar memorabilia. A lot of Crocs. Yeah, you'll find those all over the house. And I, who knew snow, blo snow, wait, blow okay. molds were a thing. <laughs> I'm learning. We sold so many ghosts and pumpkins and blow molds in October, and now the Christmas blow molds are coming out. This is going to be a book nook. I'm so excited. Oh, cool. We have a new vendor moving in today, and she's bringing antique books, and she has, she has so many books, so she's excited to make this our book nook. You know, I can think of people specifically that I'm going to notify about that because they collect antique books. Okay, well, she says she has a file. That is awesome. You know, and what I really love is that we're in Mount Horeb, and Mount Horeb is not far from Madison. People sometimes get this feeling that we're a little bit ways out, but it's there's so many different things to see here. There's so many different things to check out. And you, with all the changing that you've been doing and that you've been telling me about, it's worth it to come every week. I mean, every time you come, it's worth it to just see what's different. Well, that's just it. Everything in this house pretty much is a one of a kind. And um, whether it's handmade or antique, it's still one of a kind. And we, between our 35 vendors, at least daily someone is coming in, if not a couple of someones. So if you think you visited the store once, by two days, you really should come again. Well, and you said you've really been encouraging people to, you know, rotate their stuff and, you know, just keep everything fresh and fun. Look at all the vinyl. Yes, this is one of our newer vendors. He's only been here a few months, but he is having fun. He said wow. he has 20,000 records in his personal collection. So he comes in at least twice a week with armloads of records. <laughs> vinyl <laughs> is hard to find. Out, uh, uh, once a week. So, yeah. Vinyl is hard to find anymore because we don't have the record stores like we used to. Some great books and kitchen. Oh, fun, more fun jewelry. Got holiday in a... Yeah, people are definitely pulling out their Christmas displays already. We just flipped from Halloween to Christmas. We have a new vendor coming into that space in a couple of days. And Lots. We, we have a full house. It's every you do square, have a full house. It is literally full. You do have a full house. Look at all the great Christmas. Wonderful. Now, one thing I wanted you to tell me a little bit more about is that you actually have an unusual space that's for rent. Oh, right. So we have the, the whole building itself is 12,000 square foot and the antique mall is about 6,000 square foot and my little soap store to be is about 600 square foot. <laughs> so upstairs, right above us right here, we have a whole upper level and it's okay. 3200 square foot ballroom 
plus an apartment. And it's a beautiful ballroom. It's solid wood floor, no beams. It is truly a ballroom. Wow. Um, the unfortunate part of that space is there are no bathrooms. So it's kind of hard for us to do events there. So we have it available right now. We're hoping to rent it to somebody in conjunction with the apartment so that they can have their bathroom, their kitchen, their uh, maybe a gallery for an art studio yeah. or a business office reception front. It, it has front street access. There's a private entrance on Main Street. There's a middle stairway that goes right up. You don't have to come through the store, through the back. So it's a really, okay. really cool space with lots of potential for that right person. Okay. And there's somebody in there now, but if somebody was interested, they could reach out to you. Right. And then when they are out, you could certainly well, we, take them up we there. We have renters that have been there for a while, and they're moving out by the end of this week. Oh, so wow. They're, they're, Soon. The, the first, we... We expect to have to paint and do some minor renovation, you know, yeah. repairs of some sort. Um, we don't really know what's up there. We, Like I said, we've owned the building for a whole two months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, And they've lived there. We've done a walkthrough, of course. So we expect to have to paint and spruce it up. Right. But it's in a good shape. It has the best bathroom in the whole building. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but yeah, it's available November 1st-ish after we do our minor yeah. improvements. And you had made this suggestion too, which I loved, is it's a potential other place for our local vendors and local artists to display their things. Yeah, I, one of the ideas I've talked to somebody about is maybe uh, an art studio breakout where yeah. they break out. Artists are always working out of their homes and stealing their own yep. kitchen or basement space. And, you know, they want to spread their stuff out. So it'd be a great breakout for studio art. And then they could have cl the kitchen for classrooms and a gallery. Yep. Um, it just somebody to manage that space would be really awesome. Um, the The potential there is wide open. Right. Yeah. The sky's the limit. Use your imagination. Right. So. which many artists have amazing imaginations. Exactly. <laughs> well, I wanted to show this last sneak peek, which we're not going to give the full details on, but um, in November, you actually have one of your vendors displaying a special wall in honor of Veterans Day. Yes, one of our vendors has, she comes to me about every other day with amazing ideas, and she says, what about this, and can I do this? And she is one of our vendors with a lot of storage stuff so i think we can go through the back that way to get down and um she wants to make a veterans celebration wall to honor our vets and she started it today so it's not finished she's got it covered with curtains and she said we could take a super sneak peek but um we're gonna have that on display all of november so i hope you'll come out and just appreciate our veterans And you never know what you're going to find down here because there's a lot of other treasures down here, too. Yeah, this is our what we call our lower level, and we are constantly renovating and improving this space. It still needs a little TLC, and um, but our vendors have come in and just made it amazing, made it cozy, and they decorate and change things and... Um, I love walking through. It's a very yeah. dangerous job to have. I stand at the checkout <laughs> counter and I see new things coming in the house and I say, um, don't even bother putting that on this right. plate. Just park it right back here. Right? And so, every corner you have something new oh, and yeah, fun to look there's at. There's no empty space in the house. So this is the room in the middle, basically, of the downstairs. We've got some really cool vintage Christmas, vintage Christmas ornaments. Um, and then over here, we're not going to do a big reveal, but we'll just kind of tell you a little bit that this whole wall is going to be on display with military attire from local, many local. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just show oh, you. Oh, boy. We can take a <laughs> this was my dad's Navy uniform, so I can show this. There we go. Very cool. Um, it even has dog hairs from my house still on it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are vintage, but, uh, too. She was noticing all the buttons that they yes. have to do look at all those buttons but so i can show that that was my dad's navy uniform and he's passed away but um he was in world war ii as a radio technician on one of the, i don't know which boat but so we have a wall that i'm super yes. excited to look at when it's revealed yes that'll be fun something for people to look forward to so all right and then the remainder of the downstairs yeah, every little nook and cranny is filled. This is a super um, special offer for people. This is the remains of the the old soap store. Oh, okay. So it's all brand new product, really excellent product. Everything's half off. 
Oh, so wow. it's just kind of, and these are really good essential oils. So that's kind of a bonus for people who yeah. just want to get a good price. You on don't get really half off product. essential oils very often. That's for sure. So, so that's, I think, pretty much the whole house. It is. This yeah, is really awesome. <laughs> and then just one other I thought I had was if somebody did want to have their own booth, they would also reach out to you. But you're right. pretty booked right now. We are these full, are... but I, I, in the short time I've been here, it's fluid. People, People's needs change. They either want more space or they want less space. It's super fluid. So we are constantly moving people around. We have a wait list. Um, we encourage people to call and put get on that wait list because uh, often people stop in and say, I have antiques, I want to sell. So put your name on the wait list. We're constantly looking for new people. Um, right now the house is full, but that won't be that way always. Well, and keep in mind that if you came in six months ago, if you came in a year ago and wanted a space... Things have changed. There's right. new owners. So try it again. Maybe right. you have a different outcome or maybe things are changing. So don't be discouraged by a previous attempt. Right. And also so. what I, one thing I'd love to share is um, in these days of COVID right now, we're really trying to reinvent how shop, as everyone is, trying right. to reinvent businesses and how to continue to shop. And, you know, there's this potential of new shutdowns coming. And it's with the soap business, you can... Order on my website, Jangle Soapworks, and people place an order. I package a bag, and you can call the front desk at the Isaac's Antiques phone number, and then they will run it out to the curb for you. Oh, that's awesome. So there's curbside, plus on my Monday night lives at 515 with the Isaac's Antiques Facebook page, we do tours through the house, we spotlight vendors, and if people see something they want there, they place it on hold. Again, they can prepay. We run it out to the curb or we at least put it in a hold place if you just come in and pick it up. So we're trying really hard to make some COVID conscious options for your shopping. I can't put all these antiques on a right. website because that would be forever one right. kind. But So we're trying to spotlight those with our Monday Live options. Yep. And if you see something, we'll package it up for you. Um, but then through the soap store where it's more website type build we can run it out to the curb for you yep so and we should note that we're doing this after hours which is why we don't have masks on because normally we would of course require masks yes we here. have masks we wipe things down constantly and um we're staying our distance we have plexiglass at the checkout counter so we're doing as much as we can to be covid conscience right Conscious, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. The whole thing is crazy these days. But we've covered a lot, Janelle. This is amazing. We've got something to be excited about in the new sh soap shop. We've got changing vendors and changing stock to be excited about. We've got Christmas stuff coming out. We've got the wall for the military recognition in November. Just constant updates and constant change. And then, of course, the potential for somebody to take over that space and turn it into something amazing for right. our local downtown. Right. That is awesome. Thank you so much yeah, for your time. For it was out. really, really great to see this again. And I have been in Isaac's probably a hundred times. And I got to say, I have never felt it so clean and inviting and just revitalized I guess it's just really really neat to see well so. thank you but I also want to add that we were fortunate enough to come on the heels of an amazing set of owners that set a reputation that's unprecedented yes. everybody knows Isaac's Antiques they love the store I get to come in and have fun and work with something yes. that's already amazing so that's awesome you know we've done some aesthetic changes but really a lot of the antique store needs to be deferred to the previous owners Really, really awesome. Well, you guys are doing a great job. And if anybody has any questions, I will be including the websites that she mentioned and the Facebook pages so that you have easy access to them Thank so that you, you can find That's it. Awesome. Of course.